Hello, welcome to Free School Exam Preparation. Today we're going to talk about Edexcel International AS and A levels, further pure mathematics three. In this lecture, we'll continue with chapter five vectors. So in the previous lecture, we've learned about the cross product, and now we'll take a look at one application of the cross product. So let's say here we have the origin O, and we have a point A, and its position vector will be OA. And also we have another point B here. So the positional vector of B will be OB. Okay, so let's just write this one. OA equals to A. OB equals to B. So we can use the cross product to represent the area of the triangle OBA. How do we do that? So let's first link these two points B and A. So just think about how we calculate the area of a triangle. So we can look at the angle here, theta, which is the angle between these two vectors, right? So this equals to 1 over 2 times the length of OA and times the length of OB and times sine theta. Okay, so we've talked about the cross product. So for cross product A and B, so its magnitude equals to A's magnitude times B's magnitude and times sine theta. Okay, so just by comparing these two, so we know the area of triangle OBA equals to one half of the magnitude of A cross product B. Okay, so if we want to calculate the area of the parallelogram formed by this OAB, right? So let's call this one C. So area of parallelogram OABC. So this will be twice the area of triangle OBA. So it will just be the magnitude of A cross product B. Okay, so let's say if we have three points A, B, C. And we want to find out the area of triangle or ABC. So how do we do this? So we have OA. Let's denote this one as A. And OB, we denote it as B. And OC, we denote this one as C. Okay, so we can represent this AB here, right? So what will be AB? So AB will be OB minus OA. So it will be B minus A. Okay, and also we can represent AC. So AC will be OC minus OA. So we'll have C minus A. Okay, so now let's look at the angle here, theta. Theta is the angle between the vectors AB and AC. So we can do the same thing, right? So area of triangle ABC equals to 1 over 2 times the length of AB and times the length of AC and times sine theta. Okay, so... This one can be considered as the magnitude of the vector AB cross product AC. Okay, so we have AB is B minus A, and then cross product this C minus A. Okay, so this will be the formula used to calculate the area of triangle ABC. Okay, so maybe we can simplify this a little bit more. So here we'll just use a distributive, right? So we have B cross product C minus B cross product A and minus A cross product C and minus A cross product A. Okay, so we know A cross product A equals to zero. And a cross product B equals to negative B cross product A. And uh, A, B. So C cross product A equals to negative A 
cross product C. Okay, so we can change this one into, so here will be B cross product C. And this one will be plus A cross product B. And plus A cross product, uh, C cross product A. Okay, so how do we remember this? So think about if we have A, B, C, right? So we just draw them uh, like clockwise. So first we have A cross product B plus B cross product C and plus C cross product A. So we always go from the clockwise um, direction. Okay, so let's take a look at some questions. The first one is from page 108, question 1B. So we have A here is a positional vector of the point A and B is a positional vector of point B. Okay, and we want to find out the area. Okay, so we have 1 over 2 and A cross product B. How do we calculate this one? We learned last time, right? So we have I, J, K. So this is A cross product B. So here will be 3, 4, negative 5. And B here is 2, 1 negative 2. Okay, so this one, so first we look at i, and then we have this sub um, determinant. So 1 negative 2 times i. And for j here, we do the minus j. So we have 3 negative 5, 2 negative 2. And plus, so k, we'll have 3, 4, 2, 1. Okay, so this will be negative 8 and plus, uh, sorry, minus negative 5, so it will be plus 5. So I have negative 3i. And here we'll have negative 6 and then minus negative 10, right? So it will be minus 4j. And plus, so this one will be 3 minus 8 will be negative 5k. Okay, so if we calculate its magnitude, so this one will be square root of negative 3 square plus negative 4 square plus negative 5 square. Okay, so we have 25 plus 25, 50. So it will be 5 square root of 2. So the answer will be 5 square root of 2 over 2. Okay, let's take a look at uh, this one. So we do the same thing, right? So it's 1 over 2, A cross product. And for A cross product, we can write this one out. So we have I, J, K. And we have 2, 3, 0, 2, 6, negative 9. Okay, and for I, so we look at the second column and third column, 3, 0, 6, negative 9, I. And for J here, so first we write a negative sign, and we look at the first and third column, because J is in the, in, in the second column. So 2, 0, 2, negative 9. And plus, so k here will be 2, 3, 2, 6, k. Okay, so we have negative 27i. And minus, so this will be negative 18j. And plus, so 12 minus 6 will be 6, k. Okay, so we have negative 27i plus 18j plus 6, k. So a times a uh, cross product b. So the magnitude will be square root of negative 27 square and plus 18 square plus 6 square. So maybe we can take out 6 square, right? So here we'll have, um, oh, actually we can't take out 6 square. So maybe we take out 9. So here we'll have 27 times 3 left, so will be 81. And here we have, so if we take out 9, so we have 2, uh, 18, 36. And this one will be 36 takes out 9, 4. Okay, so 3 square root of 85 plus 36, 1, 2, 1. So it will be 33. Okay, so this will be 33 over 2. Okay, so now let's take a look at question 2. So still on page 108. And we want to find out the area of triangle ABC. So here ABC are the positional vectors of these points ABC. Okay, so we talked about this before, right? So you can write as ABC. So this one will be here is 2. And now we do clockwise. So A cross product B and plus B cross product C. 
and plus C cross product A. Okay, so we can do this calculation. So first, A cross product B. So we have I, J, K. 0, 1, 2. 1, 0, 2. Okay, so for I here, we have 1, 2, 0, 2, I. For J, first we write the negative sign in front, and then we look at the first and third column. And for K, we have 0, 1, 1, 0, K. Okay, so this one is 2i, and here will be minus 2, so plus 2j, right? And this one will be 0, minus 1, so negative k. Okay, so this is a cross product b. Now let's do b cross product c. So we have i, j, k. 1, 0, 2. 2, 0, negative 10. Okay, so for i here, so we have 0, 2, 0, negative 10, i. For J, first write the negative sign, and then we do 1, 2, 2, negative 10. And for K, 1, 0, 2, 0, K. Okay. okay, so this one is 0. And this one we have negative, so negative 10 minus 4J. And last one is 0 as well, so we have 14J. Okay, and then we do C, cross product A. Just be very careful. You can't um, change the order. You can't say A, cross product C, right? Because we talked about last time. Uh, for the cross product, it doesn't have the commute, commutative uh, rule. Okay, so we have I, J, K here, right? C will be 2, 0, negative 10. A will be 0, 1, 2. Okay, and for I, we have 0, negative 10, 1, 2, I. And for J, first write the negative sign, 2, negative 10, 0, 2. And plus K will be 2, 0, 0, 1, K. Okay, so this one will be 10. And here we have minus 4j. And this one will be 2k. OK, so we got all these three, and now we sum them up, right? So we have 2i plus 2j minus k plus 14j plus 10i minus 4j plus 2k. OK, so for i together, so we have 12i. For j, this three, so we have negative 2 plus 12j. And for k, plus k. OK, so this one will be 2, and top will be square root of 12 square plus 12 square plus 1. OK, so 12 square is 144. So 144, 288 plus 1, 289. So square root will be 17. So we have 17 over 2. OK, so that's how we do question 2. This one, question 10. So we have a, b, c. And the position of vector of A and B and C will be like this. First, we want to calculate AC cross product BC. Okay, so what will be AC? So AC will be, so we, uh, OC, let's write this one out, minus OA. So OC is 3i plus 3j. And OA is 2i minus j minus k. Okay, so we have i plus 4j plus k. Okay, how about BC? BC will be OC minus OB. Okay, so OC 3i plus 3j minus OB 6i minus 2k. So we have negative 3i plus 3j and plus 2k. Okay, so now we do the cross product of AC and BC. So first we write i, j, k. And AC is 1, 4, 1. BC, negative 3, 3, 2. Okay, and for I here, we have 4, 1, 3, 2. And for J, negative sign in front, 1, 1, negative 3, 2. And for K, 1, 4, negative 3, 3, K. Okay, so 8 minus 3, 5I. And here we have 2 minus negative 3, J. And plus 3 plus 12, K. Okay, so it will be 5I minus 5J plus 15k. So that's for question A. And question B. So we want to find out the area of ABC because we got this already, right? So we don't need to use uh, A cross product B plus B cross product C plus C cross product A. So think about this graph. So we have A, B, C. So we know AC cross product BC. Okay, so we can just use this AC cross product BC's magnitude and then over 2. Okay, so what will be this one? So here will be 
5 square plus 95 square plus 15 square. Okay, so 5 square 25, so we have 50. Uh, 15 square 2 to 5, so we have 2, 7, 5 square root over 2. So now we take out uh, 25, so we have 15 here. Okay, so that's how we do this. Oh, actually, sorry, 275. Did we calculate something wrong? So 1, 2, 5, 2, 5, 1, 1, sorry. Okay, so this is for question 10. Now let's take a look at another question. So this is question 9. So we want to prove that uh, parallelogram ABCD's area is B minus A, cross product C minus A's magnitude. Okay, actually we've talked about this before. So we didn't do parallelogram, but we did um, triangle. So let's say we have A, B, C, D. Okay, so B minus A. So what is B minus A? You can, it's O, B minus O, A, right? So this one will be A, B. Okay, so this one we know it's B minus A. And how about C minus A? So it's O, C minus O, A. So let's write this one, C minus A. Okay, so OC minus OA is AC. Okay, so we have this one, right? So here we do the cross product of these two, C minus A. And then we will be able to get this area, uh, like twice of this area. But twice of this area is just a uh, parallelogram's area. Okay, so let's just write this one out. Okay, so we know um, B minus A is A, B, and A, C, and for parallelogram, A, B, C, D. So its area equals to 2 times the uh, area of triangle A, B, C. Okay, so we have 2 times, so here will be 1 over 2 times A, B, and times A, C, and times, maybe we call this angle theta, sine theta. Okay, so this one equals to A, oh, sorry, we can't use this. Because it's confusing, right? So we do this A, B, A, C. Okay, so we have A, B, lens, times A, C, lens, and times sine, theta. So this one just equal to A, B, cross product, A, C. And then we do the magnitude. Now we plug in A, B. So it will be B minus A, cross product, C minus A, magnitude. Okay, so that's for question A. Question B. So... If this B minus A cross product C minus A equals to B minus A cross product D minus A. So we want to show this one equals to zero. Okay, so we can write as this. B minus A cross product C minus A. Minus B minus A cross product D minus A equals to zero. Because we know there is um, distributive law, right? So we can take out this B minus A cross product. So inside here, we have C minus A minus D minus A. So we have B minus A cross product C minus A minus D plus A. So this one will be B minus A cross product C minus D. Okay, this is zero. So we've proved this one. So what is the geometric significance of this product? So let's look at P, B minus A. So we know this is AB. How about C minus D? So this is OC minus OD. So it is just DC, right? Okay, so if their cross product is zero, so that means AB and CD and DC. Um, so here, sorry, we should have OC minus OD. We, yeah, we should have DC. And DC have the same direction. So what does have the same direction mean? So that means AB, this line, is parallel to this line, DC. Okay, so that's how we do question 9. Okay, so that's everything for this lecture. We hope you have enjoyed it and wish you good luck with the exam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Free School Exam Preparation. Thank you.